now i am going to explain how to perform bh curve experiment in the lab okay first the aim of the experiment is to study the bh curve for a given ferromagnetic material so we are going to draw the bh curve so for that what are all the apparatus required let me show one by one to you so first one is this is the battery eliminator so for this experiment we have to use 4 volt okay battery eliminator 4 volt and the next one is this is rheostat so this is rheostat actually here you see here we have the connections 1 2 3 generally we use one down and another one is up okay these two screws we use for the connection rheostat by using this top one we can adjust the rheostat value Okay, this is rheostat. And this is ammeter 0 to 3 ampere. Okay, it's positive negative terminal for this. This ammeter we are going to use in this experiment. And this is the deflection magnetometer. Okay, so as you know well, inside it will have one bar magnet. So, magnet always towards north and south and this is the aluminium pointer which is perpendicular to the uh, bar magnet. Okay, So, the pointer will be always focusing on east-west direction. And this is solenoid. Actually, solenoid is nothing but coil of wire through which the current will pass. So, there are two terminals given for this solenoid. And this is compensating coil. By seeing these two, you may get confused. What is this? Both are looking same. Actually, both are same only. But inside of this compensating coil, we are going to keep this ferromagnetic material. So, for this material only, we are studying the BH curve. So, if you see this two, solenoid will not have any hole on this. And the compensating coil will have the hole. Okay. So, in that hole, we have to insert this ferromagnetic material. This is what we are going to use for this experiment. For this only, we are going to study the BH curve. So, we have to insert in the hole like this. So, this is compensating coil. And this is the wooden arms to do the experiment. Wooden arms. See, now I am going to show commutator. So, by seeing this, you can understand four connecting parts and four key portion is there. So, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4. The same thing I will show in the circuit so that you can understand. This is commutator 1, 2, 3, 4. So, can you understand this? Okay. So, here we have to use the tap key to hold. If you are keeping the tap key for the direction of the current in the sense, put it in the opposite direction. So, if you are taking this is forward means the opposite will be the reverse. For reverse current, we have to change like this. This is reverse, okay. In that way, you have to use this commutator. It's a act as your rotatory switch. So, these are all the apparatus required for performing this BH curve experiment. Before doing this experiment, first we have to set up this uh, deflection magnetometer in tan A position. What is the tan A position? Three things we have to remember. First one is, this is the wooden arms, okay. And then deflection magnetometer and bar magnet and a pointer is there. Generally, the 0, 0 should be parallel to this arms, wooden arms. 0, 0 in the deflection magnetometer and the already I said the bar magnet should towards the north-south. So, aluminium pointer should be east-west direction. So, we have to keep the wooden arms in the east-west direction and the 0, 0 of this deflection magnetometer is also parallel. So, 0 should be at the center. Okay, It should be exactly in the middle of the scale. And the pointer should show 0 value. For example, if I am keeping like this, okay, in this direction, the pointer is showing the value 30, 30, 30 or 25 like that. So, it is not the east-west direction or it is not the tan A position. So, I have to adjust with the wooden arms the pointer should show 0, 0. The pointer should show 0, 0 directly. Now you see the pointer is showing 0, 0. This is the tan E position for doing the experiment. So, three things you have to remember. Wooden arms 
and the zero zero and the aluminium pointer all should be parallel to each other to that is step is called the tanier position okay first we have to set up this one in the tanier position then we have to give the connection as per the circuit diagram so now i will show the circuit diagram for you people this is the circuit so now this is c represents commutator commutator will have the four knobs okay so this setup down one is there no this is called the primary circuit so opposite end of commutator should, commutator should be connected like this and the secondary circuit is called this the upper part so the opposite end of this commutator will be connected to ammeter rheostat and a battery eliminator so this is what the circuit connection now i will show you how to give the circuit connection So now we have to keep the solenoid and the compensatory coil near to this deflection magnetometer as per the circuit here. See here, this is solenoid. Here from here in the scale, I just maintained eight, eight centimeter. Okay, from the center it is eight centimeter. In the same way, compensating coil also from the center it is eight centimeter. So we have to keep like this. Okay, this is what the setup. First we have to do before giving the connection. One is tanier position, and the next two one is we have to set up the solenoid as well as compensating coil at eight centimeter distance from the center. As per the circuit connection, already I have given the connection. Let me explain how to give that. Okay, first see here deflection magnetometer, solenoid, compensating coil. Deflection magnetometer, solenoid, compensating coil, and this circuit that is the first circuit, primary circuit. is solenoid is connected to one end of the commutator opposite end is connected to the commutator sorry compensating coil so first this connection i will to show you so solenoid through deflection magnetometer connected to the compensating coil see here this is solenoid this wire is connected to compensating coil this is the first connection and then solenoid is another end of the solenoid is connected to the commutator one end see here this is the other end goes to commutator one end and commutator opposite end not the next one adjust end one it is the opposite one connected to the compensating coil so this is here i have connected the solenoid so opposite end is this this will connected to the compensating coil so this is the primary circuit okay so in this way we have to give the primary circuit so the lower part is over next we have to talk about the secondary circuit see here already these two ports are connected in the commutator these two are empty so take one port from here to ammeter positive and then ammeter negative goes to rheostat rheostat to battery and battery again coming to the opposite end of the commutator so now i will show this one see here first it starts from commutator so commutator one end comes to ammeter positive ammeter negative goes to rheostat so already i said rheostat down i have given the connection and up one the arrow mark is the up one here it goes to the battery eliminator negative so this is the up one goes to battery eliminator negative and then battery eliminator positive from here to commutator opposite side of this here okay so in this way we have given that means this primary secondary circuit this two ports and this primary circuit this two ports of the commutator that's all about the connection part for the experiment so first one is tanier position already we kept tanier position and then uh, this solenoid and compensating coil also 8 cm from the center and then we have given the circuit connection now we are going to perform the experiment so before performing the experiment first we have to insert the ferromagnetic material in the compensating coil so before keeping that just tap it down to, to demagnetize this and then we have to keep in the hole provided for that okay so now we have to start doing the experiment our tabular column is so how to do this experiment after giving the circuit connection we inserted that ferromagnetic material and then take this two tap case and then put it in this opposite side see for my experiment i am going to consider this as the forward direction okay opposite side so now switch on this okay this is the rheostat so what is the tabular column required for this experiment the tabular column required is serial number current 
0 to 3 for every 0.25 variation we are going to take the values in ampere and then deflection theta 1 theta 2 mean that means the pointer aluminium pointer shows the theta value that we have to note on both the sides and finally we have to take the mean theta and the tan theta value we have to calculate. So by varying the current I am going to see the deflection. So varying current by means of rheostat I am going to adjust the rheostat to change the current value ok. And in the table also they have mentioned table forward direction increasing current. So the current is increasing from 0 to 3 right. So now we switched on we put the tap key also here commutator. Now I am going to adjust the rheostat to make it see here the ammeter value is 0. Next I have to adjust for 0 what is the deflection of the aluminium pointer. See now for ammeter 0 that is current is 0 whatever the pointer shows the deflection both the sides you have to note down. For example left side I am taking theta 1 right side I am taking theta 2. So this left and right you have to take down. Once it is over adjust this rheostat to make the current 0.25 ok. So now I am adjusting this rheostat. See here it is keep on increasing now it is 0.25. So see the value of this by adjusting the rheostat I am making the current value 0.25 right. Now again we have to take down the deflection left theta 1 and the right theta 2 right. Once it is over next step is the second value is over adjust this rheostat for 0.5 ok 0.5 take down the value again ok. So in that way we have to adjust the rheostat value from 0 to 3 ok. So we have to adjust the current value and take down two deflections. So this is one table forward direction increasing current. At now I will show you in that way if you take we will reach up to 3 ok the current value will be 3 ok. So I will show you now we have taken the values up to 3. Now it is 3 right. So we reached 0 to 3 increasing order the current is increased from 0 to 3. Next tabular column is forward direction the same way but it should be the decreasing current. What is the decreasing current 3 to 0. Whatever the procedure we followed now in the previous table 0 to 3 it is in the increasing order but now I have to do 3 to 0. So what I should do adjust the rheostat 3. 2.75, 2.5 like that undertake the values. So the second tabular column will be over. First one is forward direction increasing current 0 to 3 and the second tabular column forward direction but a decreasing current 3 to 0. Okay, in that way we have to take down the value. So now we completed two tabular column. What is the next step? The third step is we have to change the direction of the commutator. So commutator is used to change the direction of the current. So this is we consider it as forward direction. Once the two tabular column is over now we have to ch change this direction. So I removed the tap press and I kept in the opposite direction. I am keeping in the opposite direction. Okay. So now you keep it in the opposite direction. Again you start from increasing current. So what is the increasing current? From 0 I have to start taking the values from the 0 of the current. So first so now we are coming to the third tabular column reverse direction increasing current. Reverse direction means we changed the tap key from the previous case. So it is the reverse direction the procedure everything will be same. So the third tabular column increasing current 0 to 3 adjust the rheostat make the current value here and then accordingly note down the deflection in the deflection magnetometer. So increasing current is 0 to 3 and fourth table is reverse direction only decreasing current. It should be in the same position but current should be decreased from 3 to 0. In that way we have to perform the experiment. So once it is over next fifth tabular column is fifth tabular column forward direction increasing current. So what is the forward direction increasing current? Again we have to do the same thing. What is that? Just change this forward direction tap key and increasing current 
0 to 3. Okay. In that way, we have to note down the values to draw the BH curve. So, this is what we have to perform. So, let me explain once again. First step is, first we should make the tan A position. Once it is over and then we have to give the circuit connection as per the circuit diagram. That after that, we should start doing the experiment. Actually, for this experiment, we have five tabular column. So, forward direction, increasing and decreasing current. And the third and the fourth is reverse direction, increasing and decreasing current. And the fifth one is the forward direction, increasing current. So, in that way, five tables we have to complete. Okay. I hope you understand how to perform the experiment. <laughs>